New at 6 tonight, a Knoxville father is now paralyzed after a car accident last week. Six on her sides, Veronica Obey is live in the studio. Veronica, you talked with some of the man's family today. Yeah, that's right, Wes. The man now fighting to recover is D Jason Butcher. I spoke with Melissa Moore, who has been with Butcher for 13 years, and she tells me they are working to get through this as a family. Together, we make quite the team. Melissa Moore has spent many years by Jason Butcher's side. She and their daughter Zoe have always been Butcher's biggest cheerleaders. And now after a tragic accident that has changed his life, their support will remain. Thank you, God, for Daddy. <laughs> the stop sign has snuck up on him, and he, he hit the brake. And when he hit the brake, he slid. Um, it, the brakes, the road was wet, you know, slippery. So they didn't work on him. So he 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 hit the he hit a pole. If he didn't hit that pole and he went over, there's more than likely he would not have be here with us. Here. Here today. The accident took place just days ago, leaving Butcher paralyzed, waist down, and he currently doesn't have use of his hands. It was a moment Moore said was the last thing she would have ever expected after Zoe asked to call her father. She called him video chat to say, I beat mommy at bingo, daddy. <laughs> and all of a sudden, uh, it wasn't him that answered the phone, it was an EMT. That's when Moore was told that neighbors around the area rushed to the car after it hit a telephone line, which stopped the vehicle from going over a ledge. Thank you guys for, for rushing out and lending a healing hand for him and helping him. I, we really, from the bottom of our hearts, we, we thank you. Now as the family works to get back to living life together as a team, Moore says she knows it will be challenging, but she's thankful Butcher is still alive. It was, it's quite a change from, uh, from where he was four days, three days ago till now. I'm thankful for God. <laughs> That's what I'm thankful for because I fully believe that he was there with him and he still is. Such a touching story. Moore was actually sitting next to Jason when I spoke with her. He wasn't able to speak after recent operations, but she said they are also thankful for the prayers everyone has sent their way. Wes. Veronica, thank you. And if you want to help Butcher continue his fight, you can find his GoFundMe on our website, WATE.com.